Hello all and welcome to another edition of this Code Shots video format. Um, what I'm going to try to do today, or actually what I'm going to show you today is um, a brief look at CDK and how you can actually load user data off disk to an auto scaling group. And this is one of the things that I find CDK so good at, especially if back in the day you used to use CloudFormation and you used to uh, squeeze EC2 user data inside of your um, CloudFormation templates, which was horrible. Okay, let's, let's look at our code. What do I have here? Um, let's open up my thingy here like that. Perfect. So here I have a CDK application that in essence just creates an auto scaling group um, with, well, it actually creates a VPC. It gets some, gets some permissions, gets some instance roles. Uh, it's actually using the built-in managed instance role for, for SSM, just so I can manage it using SSM. That's always a, that's always a great feature to do. Uh, creating a VPC, uh, security groups, uh, and creating an auto scaling group. So super simple auto scaling group here. Uh, but what's very important here is this thing. So we're actually using the, the file system um, module to read a file off disks. So this is native JavaScript or TypeScript um, uh, functionality where we actually read a file off disk into a variable and then add that user data through the add user data uh, method here for the auto scaling group. Super simple, super easy. And if we look at the auto scaling group, oh, sorry, the, the user data we're gonna be using here, uh, it's relatively simple. It's just a, a script that uh, installs HTTPD, changes the port from 80 to 3000, and basically restarts this. So um, later on in the CDK code, what you can see that we are creating a, a load balancer here as well, um, a listener, and adding some targets. And last but not least, I am creating a CloudFormation output here by specifying that uh, my output should actually show a load balancer DNS names for easier use. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am actually going to go and compile all of this. So if I go npm run build, it will take a moment. Hopefully it works. It works. Excellent. And if I do CDK deploy, uh, oh, right. So CDK deploy once again, uh, we can see here it is going to create, um, uh, it has some IAM statement changes, has some IAM policy changes, and it's also doing some security group things. The thing here we're doing is we're actually creating a, um, a security group locally um, that has port 3000 open towards the load balancer and and it, the instances don't even have public IP addresses in this case. So if I click this, yes, yes. So what, what's gonna happen here is the, the load balancer is gonna have port 80 open, but it's gonna translate traffic towards the EC2 instances which have port 3000 listening on them. Again, this is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward through this entire process so you don't have to wait. See you in a bit. Oh yeah, a short plug here. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, do let me know and uh, I will be happy to continue doing them. Um, one of the things I found when doing these videos is that, well, well, the reason behind these videos and code shots in general is when I was looking for example code for a lot of things I've done, I was missing a lot of that. So hopefully I can kind of help people with some simple CDK, Terraform, CloudFormation, whatever kind of infrastructure as code tasks they want to do. Hopefully, you know, I just kind of give them an idea how it should be done. Yep, back to the building. And we are back. Okay, so we can see that we have successfully deployed this. Uh, if I have a look at this URL, actually, if I just 
curl all of that, I will just get a whole bunch of things. This is good because it means we're actually getting uh, the website out. But if I just open up, um, um, uh, for example, something like this and just paste the thing here, hopefully, yep, we can see that we have an Amazon Linux AMI test page. So we have actually successfully deployed our uh, EC2 instance or our auto scaling group and just just for the sake of completion if we go to load balancers here and to listeners and have a look at these instances they should all be healthy are we, am i looking at the right ones no one second refresh uh is the, are these it uh, b -b -b looking at these things they should be healthy i think so yeah um Ignore the health checks for an app for a bit <laughs> and let's have a look at uh, we if you change user data We can see here that we actually have this user data. Oh one thing I could have actually ignored is just but I didn't have to add bin bash at all It would add it automatically so I could have avoided that and if we look at the actual um, system log of an instance um, Hopefully after a while we will be getting information on on the way it is installed the the user data well the the actual steps that were taken with this user data installation yeah it it's gonna take a moment or so for it to show up so uh, i guess we can ignore that for now cool so um what have i showed you today so today we had a had a really quick look into how can you uh create an auto scaling group on aws with um cdk and when creating an auto scaling group, in order to configure those instances, you can actually just load up user data, which is just a shell script that will run only once during the creation of these instances within uh, that auto scaling group. So, and that shell script in itself installs on a web server for our use case. Super simple like that. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you really enjoyed this. Uh, as I said, do let me know if you like these things. I will love. I would love to con continue and making them. And yeah, until next time. My name is Bintarko. Uh, I will see you soon. Bye bye.